one of this nice MB. Today's video is going to be for Copyright Thursday. Copyright Thursday for the 1st of May. Welcome to Mother's Day month. Today's prompt is Cinco de Mayo recipe or DIY if you are a Mexican. You probably celebrate Cinco de Mayo, but if you're an American, you probably celebrate it more because I don't know. It seems like more Americans nowadays celebrate Cinco de Mayo more than Mexicans. It's just, it's, it's the, is that just me or, or what? Or what? But yeah, we're going to make, I am going to make, you probably will want to try it because it's tomorrow. Today is 4, 4 of July. <laughs> The 4th of May, banana. Um, and down in the description box will, will be the little link to the month of May. Hopefully you find more recipes than just mine. And I'm going to teach you, show you, demonstrate how to do creamy guacamole. Of course, you probably already know how to do that guacamole, chop it up, and then there's guacamole. I'm gonna make creamy guacamole, yes because I made some fish for my fish tacos tonight and of course I need the guacamole spread down thingy and then it, eat it with chip because I love avocados. Is that what you say it? I used to say, um, yes mama? <laughs> I used to say avocado. This is an avocado. Mm, no, it's avocado I guess so yeah I'm gonna show you what you will need write it when I say it the recipe if I remember I'll type it up in the description box don't make promises because I always forget but you will also you will need three ripe avocados this one that's mushy not so mushy that is black hopefully these ones aren't black because I bought it at the flea market you will also need one third cup of sour cream this one has salt you would also need one fourth cup of onion. Uh, red is more bitter, but I have white, so what am I gonna do? One third cup of finely chopped tomato. You can just like cut it enough that it'll glow in the blender or the um, food processor. You will also need uh, a teaspoon of minced garlic, and you will need a jalapeno chile and that's one jalapeno the thing came out one teaspoon of lemon juice or lime because I have limes and uh, one teaspoon one fourth teaspoon of salt I don't like salt so we're going to uh, put everything on the food processor or a blender in my case I'm gonna try it and use this one. I do have a little food processor, but I think I'm gonna do it here because I'm gonna do it here So we're going to do this first First of all, you're going to like cut your avocados and put it in and criminalize it and How about if I just show you shall we? We shall. Here I have my tomato and my onion and then I have my jalapeno or my chile verde. Like for you, I gave you the amount. I'm the Mexican here. I can do the measurements that I want. But I gave you a measurement so you can accurately do it because that's how life is, right? Here's my jalapeno or my chile verde. I put it there because I'm going to blend it. So who cares, right? I'm going to cut my lemon. So I can put this juice right after, after I um, have all the shenanigan with the avocados. It's really easy. And I'm going to make, um, to put here, the only thing that I'm going to measure, that I'm going to measure is going to be that one uh, third cup of um, sour cream. Since this one has salt, I'm going to wait after and see if I actually need some salt. So I'm going to put that aside. And then I'm going to have um, the one half of a teaspoon of minced garlic uh, and put it in there for me. Half of a teaspoon of minced garlic. Minced garlic, which is the only minced garlic that I like. There's half of a teaspoon. I am going to... Woo! Put it in my connect, my container right there. There we go, there we go, there we go. 
Um, so what do we have here? Tomato, jalapeno, or chile verde, onion, the minced garlic, the lemon juice right after I mi mix everything, an open banana, which you don't need, sour cream. And we're gonna wait for the other stuff. So now I'm gonna push this over there because it's unnecessary for you to look at. Here is my blender, here is my avocado, and here's my pretty knife. Ha! Huh. So I'm just going to simply um, cut right through the middle to this ugly avocado. And then um, look at that. Ta-da! Green, green avocado. Um, you just grab your seed over here. Your seed over here. Um, I usually like peel it off like if it's some type of banana but it's a little bit smooshy the avocados that I got so I'm just gonna scoop it out I'm just gonna scoop it out just like this put it in the blender because it's already smooshy and soft so um, you just do this right up in the alley right here put it in there let me get the extra from there you cannot say uh, no, this one seems a little smooshier, so let's hope it's not black because I hate black avocados. Woohoo! Well, these ones are good. Look at this. You can actually like save this one. This is a huge seed that you can plant and have your avocado tree. Ha ha ha! Tip tip for the you there. So I grab the avocado once more, scoop it up, and put it in there as easy as pie. P pie is P. I E and then that wasn't funny right the other half and then we grab the tiny one that we had I think this one it is going to be bad because this one is from the grocery store not the flea market but ugh, look at that it is bad so we're gonna skip the bad part and throw that away I know I'm wasting and but whatever. The little avocado seeds are not good for you to plant. I don't think they work. Only this big one. This big ones work. So, there you go. Now, we're going to blend this. Blend this up and make sure it's all criminized and all goody in there. So, let's continue to the other side. I'm going to cover up my, my blender here. And then we're going to transfer, transfer our blender processing system to our electric um, place. Can you see my blender over here that I barely got? <laughs> there it is. Make sure it's locked. Ta-da! And then liquid. As soon as you have all of that going on, once your all your vegetables are in there, your tomato, your garlic, your onion, and your jalapeno or your chile verde, you want to put in there your cilantro as well. Here is our avocado going on right here. We put it all in the plate. Look at how creamy and delicious it comes out. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we want to get all of that out from the blender. This is fully one big, big um, bowl. Well, not so big, but big enough uh, for it to take to a family gathering, to have a party. You're obviously going to give them to taste, to eat, not for them to get 
fully paganized o a morir to die for, you know? There it is. So, this is the final product. I am going to taste it. Hmm. We need a tiny bit of salt because um think the cream or the sour cream is not that salty. So we are just going to have it like this. Um yeah. there it is. Make it pretty, very pretty. Now it tastes mmm. Very nice. You grab a few leaves of cilantro and there it is. There it is. There is your guacamole. Creamy guacamole. Can you believe it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So how will you guys like my creamy guacamole recipe and how I did it for my fish tacos? Remember, down in the description box will be a link to the playlist list for the May, for the month of May for all Coffee Day Thursday participants. And um, if I remember the recipe for the creamy guacamole. If not, just follow my directions right here on the video. Like always, have fun. <coughs> be safe this Cinco de Mayo. Felicidades. Hasta luego. Bye bye.